Right, okay, on to part five of the Bodokino map series. And a big thank you for all the feedback I got from part four. It means a lot when everyone replies and gives me their feedback on what they think of my videos and also what they think I should do in the future. Now, one of the questions I got was, when will you do forestry on this map? And as far as I'm aware, there isn't actually any forestry in this map. I mean, I've looked at the minimap and I can't see any forests. And I've also driven around and I can't see anything. I can't see anywhere you can cut trees down. So I don't think I will be doing that because I don't think it's possible. Um, so sorry about that, but I will be doing that in some different maps which I will be moving on to soon. Um, I'm not sure how long to do this series really. I was, first of all, I was planning on doing a five part series, but it seems to be popular and I like it, so I might run to ten. But I don't really want to go over 10 because I like to do different maps as well and show everyone what the different maps have got to offer. So I think I will be stopping at 10 if not 5. But I don't think it will be 5 because of, like I say, how popular it is. And we're not really in a position to stop now because we're just getting going. And we've managed to get our straw, we've managed to do some harvesting and now we're obviously getting our feed for our cattle. So not really ready to stop this map yet I'm hoping to do another five videos on that each video being 20 to 25 minutes so there will probably be a few more hours yet uh, on this map but I can't say how many can't say how many videos but I think it will be around 10 but today we are of course collecting that grass which we cut yesterday and rode all that up because that will be now going into our silage clamp because we need to get that fermenting and I also want to start feeding our cattle. Probably should have got the feed ready before we bought the cattle but that's just the way I've done it. Probably not the recommended way though. Anyway, what we're doing now is just driving to that field so I'll see you in a second. Right, so here we are. I don't think it's going to take us too long to do this because of how we've rode it up it's managed to get it into quite a few rows, not too many. So it shouldn't take too long, especially as this holds quite a bit at a time. Train. So yeah, I don't think it'll be, be too long at all. Once we've got this all collected up, we'll take it to our silage clamp, get the fermenting process done, we'll clamp it in. Like I say, not too much, so it will only be a small clamp. But that's all we need really, so I'm not bothered about that. Once it's all clamped, we will... Oh, it's filling up quicker than I thought. Hmm. Okay, so it, it is going to take longer than I thought. Once it's all clamped, we will get it fermenting, and then we'll feed it to the cattle. Not sure if that will be today. Probably not. I think today we'll be just doing this field, really. This is um, probably going to fill the 25-minute video. But, yeah, 50%. We're going to get a fair bit out of this didn't realise how much I had done. I, I said when I was doing it, we probably won't need too much, and I'm not going to cut much, but looking at this, I've cut way more than I need. Still, it will come in for the future. The cattle can never have too much feed. Not if they're as hungry as me. So, I'm not going to film the process of driving back and forth from the yard. That will be boring. I'll literally just film collecting it all up and then our final load we'll take it back then we'll clamp it and then yeah begin the fermenting process so we're on 85 percent from one one uh, windrow round um, big thank you again actually for replying to my message about what you call these things I call them lines before lines of straw I got quite a few words back for them, quite a number of different words. There was um, a swath, a windrow, one I can't pronounce or remember, so thank you for that one. Not heard that one before though, I've heard of a windrow and a swath before. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing everyone's got their own word for it, um, so they all mean the same thing. Anyway, let's take this back to the yard and we'll go and empty it. 
The silage clamp begins. Got quite a few actually here. Two big ones. Two large silage clamps. You get a lot into this. This will of course only driving over and compressing. Right, next load. Okay, load number two. It's actually quite hard to see the actual grass we're collecting because it's starting to grow back again and it sort of covers it up. It's the same colour because we haven't dried it off. If we were doing it to bale, obviously it would be a different colour because it would be hay. But it's making it more difficult. And I bet if you're watching this on low quality, you won't really be able to see what we're picking up here. Anyway, yeah, there's more than I thought. But it does mean we're going to get a fairly decent sized clamp out of it. So that's good. Because before, when I was playing on the original map, if you've watched those videos, you'll have seen I could only get enough for one load of these, and I made a clamp out of that, and it was tiny. But this time we're actually going to be able to get a decent sized clamp, which is nice. And the problem here is I had to um, collect it all up, row it all up in a sort of circ circular shape, because that's the way the field was cut. So that's annoying. It's like three short ones there. I'm trying to get every bit I can. Don't really want to lose any. Because this load should be enough to last the whole time we play on the rest of the map now. Don't think we'll be doing any more. I want to keep doing different jobs. Not coming back to the same job again. Keep it interesting. Um, so we're on 50%. We've collected that. Um, probably one more load after this. And then if there's only a few little bits left, then I'll leave those. Yeah, I think one more load after this, that should finish it off. But yeah, there is a lot. There's a way more than I thought there was going to be. If I had known, we could have get a, got a bigger collector. But I had no idea we'd actually get this amount. So that's good. So on to the next one, we probably won't be able to go too far. Now I was thinking whether to do a time lapse on this, but decided against it because we're not really going to be doing this for too long. And I'm cutting out the journey between the two, so probably there is probably as much point in putting a time lapse in. I mean it's not going to take too long. So when I'm full I will stop the video again and then we'll resume when we're emptying and then come back here so I'm just trying to keep the interesting parts in really I think the field work isn't too boring so I like to keep that in but like I said before when I was mowing all that's very similar so that's why I speeded that up and put the music on which was requested by someone to put music on my time lapses. So I did. Okay, 95%. Right, back to the yard. Right, load number two, ready to be unloaded. Ooh, let's compress that clamp. Squeezing it out there. Right, let's get the next load out. I've got to keep shifting forwards, otherwise it starts picking it up. Actually picks up the wagon. Look at that. That is some serious grass power. to the field. Load number three. Hopefully our final load. We'll just clear up these little bits here 
and then we'll spin around and get that last main bit. That is the problem with cutting funny shaped fields, you get lots of little bits left over. But it all grows back so it's fine, we'll sweep it up next time. Um, right, where are we? Oh, there's another bit here. Okay. Now for the final bit, or the main bit. And then this can all start to grow back and it can be cut again next time, but I'm not sure if I'll be recording that. I probably won't still be playing on this map by the time I do that. Not that I don't want to, it's just I like to show different maps, like I say. Um, just keeps everything more interesting and shows everyone what there is to offer out there if you want to get another map um, instead of staying on that original map. So yes, it's all going to fit in here definitely. Three little bits there, and then that'll be it for this field. One bit there, one bit here, and finally the last bit of the field, except for the few little bits I've left over. Right, so once again, back to the yard. And load number three, ready to be clamped. So, this is of course only 7% full, this clamp. Which just shows how much it can actually hold. A very, very big capacity. Um, but it's going to need compacting, which shouldn't take long. 78% compacted. Rapidly going up. 90, 98% just from driving forward. We'll take that off. And we need to get it fermenting as well, so we'll just see what we can do here. 100%, wow. That really did not take long. It's still working though, even though it says 100%. I'm still compacting it. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Right, well, oh, look at it. I'm still compact it way more. Um, so what can we do? Can we, we can't ferment it yet? Is that right? Maybe you have to fill it. Okay. Um, well, it can still be used as feed. I'm sure it used to come up with a fermenting thing though. That's weird. Oh well. It can still be done. It's not the end of the world. So we will be feeding them. I want to use that mixing machine. Uh, probably tomorrow. So what we'll do now is just take this wagon back. And then we'll call it a day. Because that is all I had planned today. I was hoping that would ferment. That's weird that it's not doing that. Should be able to cover it over. Maybe it's just so low in capacity that it's not letting us. You would think two and a half wagon loads there would be enough to to get it going, but 8%, that's all it's filled it. Probably a little large for what I need. Actually, I do seem to remember that, that there was already a, a field done, just up here, ready to be collected. So if that went in as well, it might let me. I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, just here. This field here. Can we drive through here? Look at this. It's uh, oh, it's not very big. We might as well get it all up. We'll get it going. We might not need it all. If we have to empty, then we'll just do the one load. I think it'll all go in though. There's not much here. So when this is all in the clamp, maybe it will let us ferment it. Maybe it has to be over 10% or something. I have no idea. Yep, 
Yeah, this will all fit, definitely. Okay, so last bit. Oh, not gonna make it. It's a bit narrow actually, having that fence there. Right, so we've got another, what, 70%? No, 66% here. So maybe, maybe this will be enough to get it to get ferment. I'm hoping it will be, but if that fails as well, we will just leave it and we'll feed them with what we've got. Um, so it's worth a try. I'm definitely going to try this. I've definitely been able to get it fermenting though on a low percentage before. I've never filled one. So it should work. Can't see why not. I can only think that it has to get to a certain percent to allow you to do it, but no idea. Anyway, let's give it a go. Ah, there we go, it has. So I'm guessing it was too low, it has to be over 10%. Blanket silo. Ah, fermenting, woo, up we go. Fermenting 1%, so yep, we can leave that now. It doesn't take too long, so soon we'll be able to get that and feed our cows with. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.